On this episode of Windows Games on Linux, I'm going over Paladins and how to set it up because there's an annoying glitch in it. So that glitch I'm talking about, that is actually .NET keeps popping up uh, repeatedly after canceling out. It does eventually launch, but this adds on about a minute worth of lag time uh, when launching the game like this. So it's not an acceptable solution. So in this configuration portion, you'll actually see how to install .NET using something called Proton Tricks. And all Proton Tricks is, is a wrapper for wine. And I'm probably gonna repeat that a couple times because it's really important to know it's not an actual program, it just uses wine tricks. And uh, that's how we get .NET installed and then from then then on you're going to be able to actually uh, play the game by just hitting the play button and it'll launch uh, after this setup so a very good setup and the game plays wonderfully so uh, i'm going to go ahead and go through the configuration and then cut to some sample gameplay i do about a four minute match uh sped up 500 percent uh, with some background music and just hitting the highlights of the match just so you can see how it performs under stress and actual gameplay uh, and that's uh, paladins for you so let's get into it Okay, for Paladins, I'm going to use Proton Tricks. Uh, Proton Tricks is just a wrapper for Wine Tricks. In Fallout 4, I showed you how to use Wine Tricks for gaming. So if you want to know how to use Wine Tricks or Wine Config directly, uh, refer to that video as I kind of lay that out. But for Proton Tricks, we're just going to install that real fast. And um, please note, most of the things online, the originator of Proton Tricks was this uh, Sermentio guy, and he is no longer maintaining the package. Matt King picked up the project and has forked it. So this is the actual one and I'll leave the links in the description down below that you can be able to use it for. Um, however, uh, that's that's Proton Tricks, just, just uh, FYI because there's a lot of misinformation out there about it um, and this is what you need. This is basic usage. If you need to know what game you need for app IDs, do a dash S for search and then the game name. So I could do dash S Fallout or dash S Paladins for this video and get the actual app ID. So that's a good way to grab the exact app ID you need. And then instead of doing that long path like you would do with Wine Tricks, you can now just do Proton Tricks, the app ID, and then the actions. So uh, very slick. And for today's video, we just need .NET 4.0. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install Proton Tricks and show that to you. So we'll go ahead and copy this first one. And I'm gonna show the installation just so you see. It is a very, very fast installation. Please note you do need the sudo command before the actual command. So uh, make sure you do that. So that's it. It installs and it will go just as fast for you because uh, it is literally just a very, very small package. So from here, we need to do Proton Tricks. And let's go ahead and search for Paladins just so you can see that. You know what? I don't think I ever launched this game. So that's why we're probably not finding it. So let's go ahead and launch it once and see what happens. I'm gonna flip over to my other screen here. Now, I know a lot of people have said the .NET, you're just gonna cancel out, but this is just a pain, and this whole tutorial is about skipping this part of it. So uh, we're gonna let this pull up and then just hit cancel, because it will not work. So with that, it should, uh, you need to cancel this twice and then it would normally play. So this whole tutorial is just the ability to bypass this and never have to deal with .NET. So uh, just, just have that in the back of your mind as well. Okay, now that we have launched into Paladins, I went ahead and set my configuration. Um, I went ahead and kind of sped all that up so you didn't have to sit through the actual account creation process and all that business. So now let's go ahead and do a search for just uh, straight up Paladins. And we did find it this time. 444090 is what we need for the actual app ID. So we saw the .NET in the very initial launch phases. We want to get rid of that and that's where, why we're using Proton Trick. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So all we need to do is do Proton Tricks app id 444090 and then dot net 40 
And what this does, it's going to go ahead and launch into uh, install.net directly on uh, where Paladins is. So it will no longer look for it. And then we should be able to just go ahead and launch Paladins with no problems. Uh, this would be pretty awesome. Um, and also, you know, cause you to be able to launch the game in, you know, a couple seconds compared to the minute of having to wait for the .NET prompts to pop up because that is just incredibly annoying. All right, here we go. Now we will actually install .NET. Okay, there we go. Now you've probably needed, noticed a bunch of errors and fix me things going on in the background there. Those can safely be ignored as we don't really technically need .NET 4.0 for this. It was mainly just for like launcher and some other stuff um, that Paladins was referencing. Um, obviously people have been playing it just by hitting the cancel button. So this is mainly just to kind of trick the installer. So with that installed, and done we are ready to go ahead and flip over and launch into paladins and see if we get a clean launch this time okay so let's go ahead and launch paladins let's see if we get that dot net problem everyone is complaining about on linux we'll hit play let's go ahead and launch it says hey you must have at least windows xp service pack 3 or later installer okay um, there was that error in the very beginning. I'm kind of curious about that. I'm going to go ahead and quit out one more time and see what we get on when we relaunch. I'm, I'm, I want to actually fix this last error. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now and see if I can't figure that out and then continue on here in a few. Okay, and we're back. Uh, what I saw here was the it was having an error message saying not compatible with systems lower than Windows XP Service Pack 3. So that told me that it was set to a really old version of Windows that is no longer compatible. So what I had to do was go ahead and type Proton Tricks 444090, which is Paladin's uh, app ID, space wine config. From here, it'll actually pull up the full wine configuration. Now, if you do get an error message and this immediately quits out and you don't get this screen, you need to go into your system monitor. Most hotkeys for system monitor are control and escape, and it pulls up this and then just type in wine. And then anything that has wine in the title here, you would just kill all these processes. Just right click, send signal, kill and just kill all the processes and then go ahead and rerun this command and this would pop up just fine. That was my problem with getting a wine config to run. And then for Windows version, go ahead and set that to Windows 7 and go ahead and hit apply, okay, and it goes ahead and sets this. So with that done, we can go ahead and relaunch Paladins and then we should see a new installer. So let's go ahead and flip down to my main monitor. So down here, um, when you go to hit play, it will actually prompt, uh, it'll say Epic, and it'll say Epic Configuration Windows or Windows Visual Studio 2010 Distributed. Go ahead and hit install, and then it'll say DirectX 9.0.C. Go ahead and ins hit install for that as well, and then it'll go ahead and finish, and then it'll do it one more time, and then once you've done that, you can just come over here, hit play, and then going forward, you will never get a prompt again for either .NET or any of these other uh, prompts for install. So as you see, I just click play. There's a little bit of a delay here, but this is just how the game is designed. You'll see it in the taskbar in the lower uh, lower right, just, just next to the Steam icon. And then it just launches right in and we are ready to play uh, Paladin. So uh, pretty awesome and pretty easy to set up once you get Proton Tricks installed. It's mainly getting Proton Tricks, uh, doing the .NET 4.0 install manually using uh, Proton Tricks. And then uh, after launching again, go ahead and do the installs after setting it to Windows 7 in wine config again i'll leave all these links below in the description so if you need to reference anything you can easily copy and paste from there so let's hit play let's see what happens uh north america confirm and we're just gonna go cl quick play now i've never played this game before so i am gonna be just atrocious at it i'm not even gonna know what to do so uh just know that Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. Well, pretty cool game, actually. Uh, <laughs> that went extremely well. Uh, scoreboard. Look at that. We got uh, three kills, one death, 22 assists with a 21 streak. Hey, not bad. I, I love that. We had an awesome healer, though. So it, even though it looked like we were just slaying it, it was mainly, I think, probably Lone Raider here that just carried the whole team. So pretty awesome, though. I, hey, it played really well. No slowdowns. I had a little stutter right at the very beginning, but it all cleared up throughout the whole match. So I hope you enjoyed that gameplay clip and the configuration. Uh, let me know if there's any games that you would like to me see me do in the comments below, and I'll do my best to actually uh, show you the step-by-step -step tutorials in getting them working. Again, refer to ProtonDB.com to see if any of the Steam-based games actually play. Um, obviously, if it's completely red borked, uh, there's a good chance I won't be able to get it working, but go ahead and leave a comment comment below nonetheless. And on that note, I will see you in the next video.